Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is my third installment of the uh, beef jerky reviews. Um, if you haven't been following this, um, I have a friend, Brian, he's from Scotland, and he's been watching my old beef jerky videos, like when I'd done the review of Jack Link's, the Wild West honey one. Um, and he said he misses them and he likes beef jerky, so he, he wants me to do more videos. And I was like, well, in my town, like my area, that's really the main beef jerkies there are, you know, like even I did those beef, um, with it, was it the beef sticks by Jack Links as well? And he was like, I understand over here we have a brand called uh, Cornish Biltong, um, and it's quite popular over here. Would you, I'll, uh, like, would you want some as long as you pay for shipping? And I was like, cool. So he bought, like, he bought them and then I paid for shipping to put, bring them over here. Um, and yeah. So today is the garlic flavour, and as you can see there, it says Ricard's, uh, Ricard's Cornish Biltong Garlic. 100% um, prime beef, great taste, the, the butcher company has been around since 1960 apparently, or maybe, it's, or maybe it was established in 1960, I, um, 35 gram bag, what else? Um, get, get, eat within 72 hours. Yeah, all your pretty basic stuff. Um, I've done this in every video so far. So now I'm going to read the back of like the main description. Here we go. Cornish biltong is simply delicious cured steak. Our premium handcrafted biltong is made using the rump of uh, rump end of silver side beef. Various spices and vinegars then air dried for up to five days. Um, this low and slow drying gives our beef amazing flavour and texture. We hope you enjoy eating it as we do making it, which is amazing, right? So now obviously this little like Kevlar type packaging is very tough to get through, you know what I'm saying? So like we need to get the big guns out, you know what I'm saying? Right, here we go, right? <laughs> There we go, get some of that in there. All right. Oh yeah, here we go. Did a beautiful job, by the way. <laughs> this is actually really cool. This is my newest acquisition in the uh, bleed. It, um, for my blade watchers, sorry. It's really cool because it came with two swords. <laughs> All right, let me just clip this up. Hang on one second. Yo, the garlic. Oh my God, the smell in my room. All right, let's put that to the side now. Okay, so first of all, you can see the colors green. The traditional was blue and the chili was red. So now this is one's green. Dude, the garlic, oh my word. All right, so no, here's the thing, right? In the air right now, just in my room, like right now, I can just smell garlic, like, there's no beef smell in the air. There's like just garlic, right? But when you stick your nose in the bag, the foot, some of the seasoning went up my nose. All right. Ooh. So, okay. So um, the first thing you do smell is the beef, right? But then literally like once your brain identifies, yo, that's beef. The, the garlic just comes up with the old one, two, you know, hook in the uppercut, you know what I'm saying? It hits your nose all around. It's, whoo, okay. All right, so, yeah, my phone's over there. Ooh, okay, okay. In terms of sizing, it's about the same size as all the other flavors. Hang on, let me just get my uh, torch real quick to see how transparent it is. Okay, swipe down there. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Let's get a piece. I'm looking forward to this one. Okay. Oh, that one is nice. And when I do this, by the way, like showing the light going through it, that's just to show you how thin it is. You know, is it, it, it like, th like doing that, like, even if it was so thick, you can't see the light. It doesn't mean anything in terms of the quality, but it's just showing you how thin it's cut. Like it's thick, but it's like, but you can still like get some transparency through it. You get some light through it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay, guys. Like every video, I'm going to have about two or three pieces and talk about my opinion on it. Cheers, guys. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, brother. <laughs> And this particular piece, the marbling that's like on it is amazing. I've got, I've got to see how moist it is. Hang on guys. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Like, can you guys see where like when I stretch it, like, dude. I guess what really helps is the fact that I like garlic. Like, if you guys don't, I don't think you would like this. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, Alright, let's do one more piece and I'm going to talk about my opinions on it. Ooh, okay, so first of all, the smell of it was great. Like just a little recap, like the smell of it, absolutely loved it. Um, the taste, right, here we go. First of all, it, it was moist, it was tender, it, it was great. Like in terms of the quality of the beef jerky, great. Um, the taste, the thinner and small, like the thinner the piece was, the more flavor it had. You know what I mean? Because like the bigger pieces obviously maybe don't have enough time to marinate fully. But the thinner the piece, the more it kicked. And I don't mean kick like a chili kick. I mean the flavour, just garlic, just pow. Um, if you guys have ever had wild garlic, like, um, well, like, um, like when I was younger, I used to live with my grandparents. And right next to their house was a wild garlic patch. Sorry about that. Pardon me. Um, was a wild garlic thing and, and as a kid I used to always go around there take off the little outer edge like you take off the bit that would that you like peel off and I just and just <laughs> some of the pieces tasted like wild garlic I, I loved it man this would go beautiful um, in a sandwich I believe you know this would go beautiful if you chopped it up and then put it on pizza. I think it would work amazing. Like if you're making pizza and want a little bit of a beefy, garlicky kick, you know, get put it on the pizza. Um, dude, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. I, um, dude. This is so, oh my gosh. You see, this one's a little bit of a thicker piece. So it's got more of a beef flavor than a garlic. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That is fabulous. Right, if I had to put the three that I've had so far in a tier list, like my least favorite to most favorite. Here's the thing, the traditional is good, but I like some flavor, right? So traditional for me is at the bottom. It's not a bad product. It's just out of the three that I've tried, the traditional is at the bottom. In second place, 
Oh, you see, the thing is, I like garlic. Yeah. Oh my god, I like chili, like the heat, and I like garlic the taste. So th these two are like fighting each other right now. Uh, do, 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 do. Chili's in second place, man. The garlic, yo, the, the garlic. Ooh, this the. Wow. Oh, and look at that, guys. I also added another little snack. Don't eat the oxygen packets, guys. Do not eat them. That that was a joke. Don't 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 eat them. Dude, yeah. So garlic right now is on top, man. Um. Wow. All right, guys. I recommend it. Again, thank you, Brian, for sending these to me. Um, he's a really awesome dude. You know, he did ask me not to put his social medias in like description or anything. Um, you know, it, it is what it is. He, he's not much of like an internet personality. You know, I mean, not that I'm popular either, but like, I make videos type thing. You know, he he doesn't. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Dude, these, these videos are getting me going. Like, today I've got a little bit of extra energy because I just came off of gaming with my friend. So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm all pumped. You were playing Call of Duty Mobile, man. Woo! Um, and, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Remember to like, subscribe. I will see you all later. Peace out, guys.